This is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week pregame show. No one takes a break tonight. We get after them for four quarters. You take what you want. It's your time. Go get it done, baby. Come on. The high school football postseason rolls on. Tonight we shine the spotlight on a premier playoff matchup as Canfield plays host to Kenston in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. I'm Chad Krispinski alongside Ryan Allison. The stakes are high from this point on. That's right. It's win or go home. The Cardinals back in postseason play this year and they have high hopes of making it a long playoff run. Let's take a look at tonight's matchup notes. Tonight's game between the Cardinals and Bombers is a Division 3 Region 9 matchup. The winner of this one will advance to play the winner of Akron St. Vincent St. Mary and West Geauga next Friday night. And these two teams are very familiar with one another. Canfield and Kenston met up just two years ago in the Region 9 championship game. Things did not go well for Canfield. Kenston ended the Cardinals season 33-7, earning their first trip to the state semifinals in 23 years. The Bombers piled up over 350 yards of total offense in that win. Kenston enters this week's action with a record of three and two with all three wins coming on the road. Yeah, the Bombers rolled past Marlington last week in the first round of the playoffs, 40 to seven, and they're no stranger to postseason play. Kenston has qualified for the playoffs seven times in the past 11 years, and that includes two years ago when they won the state championship. Now the Bombers are led by sophomore quarterback Nico Giorgio. He's a dual threat that has thrown for over 750 yards and nine touchdowns, and he has plenty of weapons at his disposal in the spread offense, including Wyatt out J.P. Germano. Canfield will certainly have its hands full. Very young football team, only eight seniors, but the guys they got playing play hard, and uh, they're very well coached again, like I said, and uh, they're an up-tempo offense, spread, four and five wide and want to go as fast as possible at times and sometimes they'll slow it down. Um, and defensively, they give you a lot of fronts that uh, is going to challenge our experience line to uh, you know, know what front they're in and make the right calls for our blocking schemes. They're big, very physical. They, uh, they're a run first team, but they can also really air it out. But they, they got the size, they got some guys and they're, they're a good team. When we come back, we'll turn our attention to Canfield. The Cardinals have playoff revenge on their minds tonight. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week pregame show. And welcome back. Let's turn our attention to Canfield. The Cardinals set to make their playoff debut after missing the cut just one year ago. Well, it's been an awesome start to the season. The Cardinals were undefeated heading in, which earned them a first round bye. Head coach Mike Pavlansky says it was also a productive week off, allowing them to heal up and get ready to make this playoff run. Canfield rolled through the regular season to an unblemished 6-0 record. The Cards, no stranger to success. They've won 37 of their last 43 games overall. That means their winning percentage, 86%. And the Cards have been getting it done on both sides of the ball, averaging nearly 32 points per game while holding opponents to an average of just over 11 points per contest. Now leading the way for Canfield is senior Chris Samarone. He's been an absolute beast for the Cardinals since back in week one. No doubt a key contributor on both sides of the ball for head coach Mike Pavlansky. He tells us Samarone is a team first guy that is all about effort and energy. He also spends a lot of extra time in the weight room to gain that edge. And he's a throwback of sorts, modeling his game after Hall of Fame linebacker Mike Singletary, flying around, always at the football, bringing a nastiness to the field. And Chris is just a great leader. He's all football player. Uh, it doesn't matter if he's on offense, defense, on a special team that we have him on. Um, he's just all football player. He wants to play at 100 miles an hour in every play. And, uh, um, you know, he, he, our kids feed off of him. He's certainly the heart and soul of our football team right now. When I come on the field, I just, uh, I'm always a team guy, but if I get the ball in my hands on offense, I run downhill as hard as I can and just run like I'm at the ground. And on defense, it's just helping guys out, knowing what they're doing, being the leader on the defense side of the ball and flying to the football and making my right reads and just playing good ball. 
Which brings us to our keys to the game. Canfield is looking to maintain possession of the ball, extend drives, and keep the Kenston offense off the field. On defense, the Cards want to win first down and force the Bombers to convert long yards on second and third down. And finally, it's important to be special on special teams. Coach Pavlansky calls it winning the hidden yardage. It's a premier postseason battle on our Game of the Week. It's a compliment to our community, our school, our athletes. Uh, uh, anytime you can uh, showcase your school and, and your program on TV and let people in the area watch you, you certainly want to uh, uh, give a great account of yourselves and play at a high level. It's just a different feeling. I can't know how to describe it, but it's just exciting that you get the, you're on live television. People will be watching you. They typically don't, and it's just it's fun. You get to really enjoy it. Hearing your name get called on the news on television. That's just there's no better feeling. So the spotlight is shining brightly on high school football's biggest stage as we're just about ready for kickoff. Kenston and Canfield face off next in a playoff edition of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.